There it is. Most of y'all don't read. You don't read books. Friday. Hope you are doing well. Listen, my makeup is a little old right now. It's, it's, I hope my lips took so long. Wait, I just got through eating dinner. Okay, not so bad, but I'm all made up because today I officially graduated from my coaching program, 12 weeks, and today we had our graduation via Zoom, and it was awesome, awesome experience. If you've ever heard of Patrice Washington, if you haven't, where have you been? That woman is just, oh, I can't take it. So I want to go for my favorite color. Look at that purple. Oh, without the glasses. Oh, so good. But hope you're doing well. I was going to film earlier, but I forgot. But I was about to go and wash my hair, actually, because... I'm going to get a retire tomorrow morning, Lord. So I gotta wash my hair. I haven't washed my locks in since January, so I'm a bit overdue. So I want to pop in and get you all this good glam, so you won't miss out on this. But hope you are having a great Friday. Hope your weekend starting out great. And you have an even better weekend. That being said, I will see you tomorrow. That is it. That is all. Bye. Okay. Happy Saturday. Today is Saturday. And it's surprisingly 6 o'clock in the evening. I oh then my God, sit down one day. I want to get my hair retied. You can see. Back, back, it took six hours. My neck hurts. And yeah, I'm tired. Um, so I'm actually about to finish. I'm going to color my daughter's hair. I'm going to make dinner and then catch up on some work that I need to get done today. I'm so happy it's still bright outside, but I'll probably be up late tonight because. I'm making greens tomorrow with the roasted chicken and cornbread. So I gotta get up early enough to pick the greens and all that. But not too much happening. I'll see you very soon. Stay safe. Have a good weekend. Bye. And here's my mom. Let me try. This first day, you know, reading the paper. Switch it up. Sunday. I forgot to film earlier. A print, an ad that you had in my podcast. Have a great day. Hey, good morning. Happy Monday. It is your girl Shanita, and you are watching my life in 365. Anywho, it is Monday, sun is shining. It may feel good outside, I don't know, but I am getting ready to retie my daughter's locks and get that out the way so I can get to my other things. If you haven't checked out today's episode on the podcast, do so. It's called, the episode is episode 12, and it's called Bouja Day. From the book I'm reading, or I just finished reading, Fell Fast, Fell Often, I'm doing a four-part book series from this book in which each episode will talk about a concept from the book which will probably be awesome because most of y'all don't read you don't read books so i have to read to you but it's actually awesome still gearing up for my event happening in may me and my co-founders live mastermind and the many fine details that comes with that it's incredible <laughs> I see why event planners exist. I see why they exist. Just too much. And yeah, I will see you.
soon happy tuesday what's going on with you welcome back to the vlog so i was just sitting here working on my launch that's happening april 1st and i was like well let me vlog right now since this vlog is about my life in 365 and it's about me um Pursuing my goals and you know the path to execution and everything. So I have a journal that I came out with last year I don't have it in front of me. It was called the evolution of me journal and when I came out with that it was put on my heart I knew I was come out with a journal and Not just like a regular bullet point, but like a regular journal that you that mostly you write in but I had some other things I put in there and so I finished my coaching program this week, actually. Actually, like yeah, this week. And so now that I'm equipped with some more knowledge and how to move and do things, I decided that I was not going to launch a new product, but instead reiterate what I already had because I know the first time I did not have everything that I have now. I didn't have the educational tools in my arsenal to do so. So, but I decided to recreate the journal and change it up. So I redesigned it. I decided that April 1st I would launch it because I finished my program March, my training March 27th. And so I said April the 1st I want to launch it. And I did a SWOT analysis. Looks Right, I did SWAT, which I didn't do last time, and I came up with some things that I can do, and I'm so excited because yesterday I got the cover design back, and oh my goodness, did this designer come through? When I say he came through, it sur it surpassed my expectations. I had a thing in mind, like I had, I, I had it in mind, kind of. Can I buy a Tesla? Be, okay, get down, get down. Can I buy? No, but no robots. So I had it in my mind that I wanted my journal to look a certain way, but I didn't really know how to put it into words. So I submitted some pictures that I thought that kind of was in between of what I liked, and then I. Oh man, I, oh man, I'm just blown away. But by the time this vlog goes up, the journal will have been up already. So make sure, if you're watching this right now at this second, go to the link in this video. If you're watching on YouTube, check the description box. If you're watching on Facebook, just check below the video. For information, you'll find the link. And you're gonna be, oh my goodness, I just, I'm just so excited. I know that when you launch something, you still have the real work begins, right? You go through the work of creating and doing all that, but the real work begins with the execution. Now, I have the opportunity now because I can have this sold like on Barnes and Nobles. I can have it sold online to different retailers because I have a barcode. I have an ISBN. I have copyright. And so now that I have all this, I can sell it. And when I was doing it, that's all I think back in my mind. I was thinking back in my mind that I want to get this journal I have, globally, right? Let me show something. So I have my goals to get so you can get my point with this of why I got the ISB and all that. So I have my goals that I wrote down. These are from last year. They're on these. I know I'm close, but they're on these big old, basically sticky notes that's for the wall. And if you look, let me find this goal that I have. Okay. So if you look at the ones, this line right here, this line. This line right here says create custom journals that will be sold Oh wait So it says create custom journals that will be sold 
everywhere around the world. I have that. This is a goal. I wrote this early 2019. Actually, yeah, actually I had it in 2019 and I started, I had my first iteration of the journal in 2020. And so now I have the second iteration of it. And the first time I didn't have barcode, I didn't have all that, but now I do. So now the real work begins to get this out there into the public, into the hands of people, have my logistics in order so that when I, I can ship them out, I need to place a big order for these and, Lord, and then get them out. Get some out, get the word out about them, and then if I can get, not if I, Get the journal on Barnes and Nobles and figure all that out. Get it on Walmart.com, Target.com. Whoever sell journals, come on. So I'm excited and I know I got a lot of, um, I know I have a road ahead of me. So, yeah. Let me go, I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, happy Wednesday, it's winning Wednesday, and I feel great. So, yesterday I was reading my coach's book, Redefine Wealth for Yourself, by Patrice Washington, and I began to read, and, then, and she's talking about the fit pillar, and I was like, oh we, I know that this is the... What I know I must be doing because I've tried before to lose weight, but I didn't really try. Like, I tried, but I didn't try, but I did try. And I realized that, okay, in order for me to get everything else, my health got to be right. So I decided yesterday that for the next 30 days from today, March 31st through May 1st, for 30 days or so, I'll be doing 30 days of the fit and faith pillar. So Patrice has six pillars. I think it's fit, space, people, faith, work, I think money. I think it's the six of them. But I'm going to focus on fit and faith. And so my goal in the fit pillar is for 30 days to cut out junk food, um, cut out pop, eat more healthier, more cleaner. And then for a faith pillar is to get back connected in my spiritual journey and increase my faith so that I can have a daily walk. And so through the course of the next 30 days, I'll be doing that. So this morning I woke up and I went to the gym. So where I live, we have a gym downstairs. But I've been here since December, January, February, March. Oh, actually November, December, January. Four, three months, three, four months. And I've only used a gym probably once. It's including my rent. So I went down there and worked out for about a total of, I'll say 45 to 50 minutes because I had to break it up. So be quiet. I'm about to, about 45 to 50 minutes. So now, um, I'm about to go to Target. I ordered some meal prep bowls as pre-portioned because honestly, in full honesty, my problem is I eat a lot of junk food. My portions are huge and I snack often, even when I'm bored. So if I change those three, I know I'll lose weight because I'm not like totally like Overweight, but I am overweight. I'm five seven, and my son is four. I should have been lost this week. So I worked out about a total of 45 to 50 minutes today in two different. I did the elliptical, and I did a, and cycling. So now I'm about to make a smoothie. I'll make a smoothie bowl. Yeah, probably a smoothie bowl. This is the ICI. I think it's ICI. These are frozen um, ICI packs. I think it's called ICI. So they come like this. 
And you use two packs. I use two packs. Then I have some strawberry and banana mixture. And the reason we strawberry and banana because I had found these acai berry like pre-made bowls and they had these ingredients. So I'm gonna use that. I'm also gonna use in my smoothie bowl, I'm gonna use some vanilla bean granola. And I'm gonna use some of these hemp seeds. They like have no flavor, which actually works good for me, I think. I think it has no flavor, but yeah. Very simple smoothie bowl. So let me get started and I'll show you how it's gonna come back. The Evolution of Me Journal. And I had the plan to get up and do my makeup, the same color scheme as a journal and everything, but I don't have a physical copy of it with me yet. So it's available for pre-order, but that didn't happen. So I'll show you how it looks right it? here. This is the Evolution of Me Journal. And this is a journal I came out with last year, actually. It was a different, layout design of it but i wanted to redo it because it's so much i learned from 2020 to april 2021 and i wanted to implement the things i know now and so that is what the journal is going to definitely showcase we're going to market this one the last one we didn't really market we really just it launched one day but now I have a new mar a marketing plan, a strategy. I need it to be into the hands of people who need it. Journal, let me how cute my journal is. I bought this journal from like, I think Frost sometime last year. Oh, actually I bought it from Sandmark. For nine, I for ten dollars at Sandmark. And I just was like, oh, look at that. Look at that cover. So I'm going to get into my book. And get my head in the game and get focused. Thank you so much for tuning into this series. Let me know if there's anything you like. You wanna booby go out now. I'm filming. Let me know if there's anything that you want to see more of, you want me to go in depth with, and if you are liking the series, what are your takeaways? If you are listening to the podcast, now listen. If you don't know, I have a podcast that is amazing. It's called The Evolution, no. It's called Influence Yourself First. And it's all about personal growth and mindset, which is about everything that I do. And the podcast right now, I'm doing a four part series on this, on this book title, Fail Fast, Fail Often. And I'm doing a series on four concepts from this book that are extremely powerful, that really helped me a lot. You can find it on Apple, Spotify, Pandora, Amazon, shoot, anywhere they got podcasts, platform you can find it on so do me a favor go check it out i promise you you'll find something that can help you 
and any one of the episodes on there I have about I think 20 some 20 episodes maybe maybe 21 but yeah that's all time to get to work I will see you tomorrow peace